So this is the question we're going to try to answer, how to import terms from a multi-term glossary that has English, entry, in English index entry names to a glossary that has German index entry names. I'll just close PowerPoint. That's the question we're going to answer. And what I've done is I have two term bases open in multi-term. I have an English German, which has 45 terms in it, and an English Deutsch with 99 terms in it. The only difference between these two in terms of how the multi-term definition is set up is the index name. And the good thing about multi-term is the index name can be anything you'd like. So it really doesn't matter. So the easiest way to handle this, if I want to put the English German into the English Deutsch, is to export all of these terms from this definition. In fact, sorry, just let me show you what they look like just quickly. So if I browse them, so if I look at the Deutsch English, you can see it's just source target term, there's some synonyms and things like that. If I change my term base and click on the English German, and go back to browse, you can see there that it's again, it's only the um, index name that's changed. So I'll come back to here. If I go to my export, I can export all of my terms out of my English German to a multi-term multi -term XML. So I'll save them here. And I'll just call them English German and save it. And that's it. So I've exported all of those terms. So in here I had 45 terms and I've exported them to a multi term XML. I now switch to my English Deutsch, which had 99. So when I've imported them, I should have 144 terms, so long as they're all different. So I click on import and I process. I select browse pick up my END, give it a, the exclusion file a name. This is just so that if there are any missed out, it creates a little file and tells you what was missed out and why to help you fix it. In this case, there should be no problem because it's the same definition. I processed all 45 and if I now click on the um, English Deutsch, I've now got 144 terms. And if I go back to my terms, you can see this all seems to work perfectly. So next we'll look at how to do a similar thing using the glossary converter. So I'll close multi-term for this exercise to begin with and I've got my glossary converter already started here. So I have my two term bases and all I'm going to do is click on the settings in the glossary converter. Check this box down here to use the selected output format for any input format, which basically means I can take an SDLTB and convert it to any of these I like. And I want this Excel 2007 workbook, which is already checked. So I'll click on OK. What I'm going to do now is just drag this into here and say OK. And this should convert to spreadsheet, which it has done. And then I take my English German and drop this into here. And they should also convert to a spreadsheet. So now I should have two spreadsheets, or I will in a second. So there we go. And if I open these up just quickly, <coughs> there's one. And then if I open the other one, the English German, there's the second one. So I have two, the two spreadsheets. One is English Deutsch, one is English German. And if I want to add this one into the other one, what I can do here is I can just select all my terms. The good thing about this method is that if there are more fields and they don't match, so if there are more fields in this one than there are in the other one and they don't match, then I can just pick the language terms, the index fields, which is what I want, um, and paste them in. And then it doesn't matter about all the other fields. So this is sort of avoids any problems you might have with term-based definitions that don't match. So I've now added them in there and now I have a spreadsheet in English Deutsch that's a bit bigger. So I'll save that and I'll close this and I'll close that one. And then what I'm going to do is I'll just delete these two term bases. Whoops. Delete those two term bases because I don't need them anymore. I don't even need my English German spreadsheet. I just need my English Deutsch one. I'll just double check I have kept the right one. So this should have now 144 terms in it, which it has, 140, line 145, the first line is the index name. 
And then what I do is I go back to my glossary converter and in the settings, I just uncheck that box because this time I want to go back to a turn base. So then I just take my spreadsheet, drop that into the settings, click on OK. As we go through, do the conversion, reorganize the turn base, finish processing, and there we go. So now I have a turn base English Deutsch, which contains all of the terms, irrespective of the fact that they had different index names. So that's another way to handle it. And this has a lot of advantages, this particular method, um, because you don't have to worry so much about definitions, because you're in a spreadsheet. There we go. And that's it. So I hope that was clear. I hope it was helpful.